numerous psychiatrists, numerous therapy. They, he would just sit in the office for 50 minutes and not say a word. So it got to the point where he started to just really hate me. And, and he would like stay up at all hours and then he, you know, he'd be pacing or he'd have panic attacks. He'd be in a ball, like, like in the field position, crying for hours. He stayed in his room. He didn't talk to people other than the people online. He had like two girls that I am aware of, two girlfriends. I, I'm only aware of two. He lived with her for a while. They, he moved into an apartment. I was paying part of the rent there and her, she was paying part of the rent and then they broke up and he tried to turn himself down. I guess he had a fight with his girlfriend and was obviously not a minor tiff to yeah. him. And he kept calling and calling and calling and finally I answered and it was, it was the girl who said, I think Matthew's in trouble and he's not answering his phone. I put my hands up and I said, it's in your hands now, God. And when Allie came over the next morning, she said, she came over at like 6.30 and I looked at her face and I knew it. And, and we just sat in bed crying. We, because they had found him two blocks away, frozen to death. In his, the paper boy found him. But I didn't realize that the worst was yet to come. The next day, I had to go see my son in the casket. As bad as that was, I had to watch his mother, his sister, stepmother, stepfather, grandparents. I had to watch them as they saw him in the casket. That, I thought, was as bad as it was going to get. Again, I was mistaken. After the service, I had to go put my son on the ground. No parent should have to do that. Ever. Um, 
I've just been kind of like really depressed for a long time. Like, I'm, I'm 23 uh, years old now, but pretty much all of my life, or most of my life, I've just been unhappy and gets depressed most of the time. And just recently just got worse to the point where I failed a semester of college and I started up therapy and stuff to try to deal with it, but I don't know how that's going yet, but I guess I should just talk about why I am not happy and stuff. And, um, and I, I just kind of don't like myself very much, I guess. And, like, I just never feel that happy. And even when I feel happy for like a few moments, just like, the next, the next few minutes, I'll just like go back to feeling like shit again and then I guess I, I just basically I just kind of hate myself like I don't admit that often but I should just say it out loud like I don't like how I look and I've, I've always been told I've always been told I'm ugly and shit since I was a kid and I've had acne for I guess about 10 years, it's not getting any better. Uh, it's just like a lot of days, I just have trouble just like showing my face and like leaving my apartment and shit. Um, I, 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 I wish those were my only issues, I guess, but it's not like, I guess that contributes that I just have a lot of social anxiety and pretty retarded in social situations um, so I, like I, I really just hate I hate my personality too I'm just really boring of a person I'm like extremely shy and like I'm, I just get really nervous around people like I have trouble looking at people's eyes and stuff when I'm talking to them and, um, I get I just kind of dealt with my anxiety depression by just avoiding people like once I got to college I was just like sick of being rejected by people dealing with anxiety and shit so I just kind of stopped trying I was just told myself oh I'm happier uh, just not dealing with any of being by myself I'll just be happy by myself I guess I kind of tricked myself into being okay with that for a few years but my life's kind of already over and I'm 23, but I just feel like I have to deal with hella shit, like, just, I mean, just most nights I kind of just wish, I guess I wish I was dead, really, just, it's like I, I just wish I could just sleep and not wake up, so I don't have to deal with it, like when I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm just, I come to realize that I have to try to deal with another day is just just a shitty feeling. I wish I could just stay, just sleep all day and not be conscious, not not feel pain, not know, not think about anything.